Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to see eight different ways in which you can earn money doing part-time. And with each of these, I'm going to explain you guys how hard it is to start, how hard it is to earn 10,000 rupees a month and how hard it is to grow and maintain your work. You might be a student looking for some pocket money. You might be a working employee looking for some extra money or you might be a housewife literally whoever you might be you can get started with at least two to three ideas out of these eight wonderful ideas and get started with making money all you have to do is watch out all these eight ideas and understand and analyze which will be a best choice for you in my life personally i tried five ideas out of these and i made more than eight lakhs i know it's a huge number and it took a lot of time and a lot of hard work from my side and don't expect these huge numbers when you're just getting started. With respect to the next two areas, many of my friends and my juniors from my college are working with these and they're significantly making not less than 30,000 rupees just by doing these as a part time. And I know many of you also can do it, but all you need is to understand how to do it and the process to create that kind of pipeline. And the last one is my idea that I'm going to implement in few months. But for that, I need a bigger team and lots of planning. So I wanted to share with you guys that idea and see if it can help you guys in any way. So these are the eight amazing ideas that can change your life by giving you some extra cash that you need whenever you want. So without any further delay, let's get started with the first one, online tutoring. Don't think it is small guys, I made 1,20,000 rupees in less than 3 months. All I did was like spending 2-3 to three hours of my time daily to teaching and plan nicely. That's all. This happened when I just joined in my internship in Bangalore. After my work, I used to have a lot of crazy free time, so I used to spend that time for teaching. So yes, that's how it started. See, I had a very clear understanding that I should have my client from US because they are going to pay me more. So for that, what I did, I have to register in a tutoring site to reach this client. So I chose teacher on for that. And then I registered there as a teacher. So it took me a little bit of time to understand the platform. Then quickly I made my profile very professionally and offered less working hours to attract the clients. I kept searching for better fits for me and I got a client as well. He is an Indian who is settled in US. He want me to teach his son math and physics two sessions every day and i said okay and he proposed me four dollars an hour but i negotiated for six dollars an hour that is 420 rupees so two hours it's 840 rupees i took classes for 10 days and and i passed it on to my friend because i got a better opportunity to teach python for eight dollars an hour two hours daily that's 1100 rupees a day so that's how I made my first 30k in that first month. But I used to face a little bit of problem to wake up early in the morning because I have to wake up at 5, 5 to 6 one session, 6 to 7. So that was a hassle for me at that time. But yeah, I slowly got habituated to that. In meanwhile, while teaching Python, I searched for a better opportunity. And then I got a golden opportunity to teach in consultancy. Yes, consultancy are the places where people come to find a good job, like they train themselves there and they try to get a good job. So that's how consultancies work. So I got an opportunity to teach both DevOps and Cloud AWS for those consultancy students. I used to take two batches each day. Each batch contains 15 students. Per a day, they used to pay me $15. So that is 2000 rupees a day. And I did that for 30 days and I got 60,000 on that month. But I faced a lot of problems because of that, that over committing because these uh, sessions, these consultancy sessions are a bit tough because I have to prepare in advance to teach these guys because they are grown ups and they're looking for the job. So I have to provide that value. So I used to spend two hours before sleeping every day to prepare that material and go through the stuff and wake up 4.30 in the morning and start a class at 5 to 6 and 6 to 7. So that was a a bit of hassle and then I have to go to my internship and also prepare to my full-time job which was a bit tough time for me so the next month I started only teaching two sessions a month so I, I earned like 30k in that month so 
overall it was like 1 lakh 20 thousand for that 3 months but later that i took a short break uh, because of some personal reason but slowly i started back again on track but when i just getting started i started with something else i used to teach or i used to prep people for interviews i used to take 3 4 hours in a day and used to give all the material what he has to prepare what are the things that he have to study for that particular interview different kinds of sets and things like that and i used to take 8 to 6000 for that kind of preps so even now i do that so once you get started with this you you will never stop because there is a lot of scope and there is a lot of ease that you can earn money with these kind of things see it was all done at 2018 it was 2 years back more than 2 years back so that's all about tutoring if you plan nicely if you have a great team and if you can manage all of them nicely you can all together start a coaching center by yourself if you are doing if you are planning something big like that something nice like that try to get people who are good in communication skills so that they can easily tackle people from us and stuff like that so in that way if you can prepare a good team and maintain it nicely obviously you can also approach consultancies to teach them these kind of stuff in consultancies there there will be various things like personality development aptitude math reasoning these kind of stuff and then spoken english and then programming there are lots of things that people can teach so try to find tutors from different categories and build a community or something like that so that you can run a coaching center all together or also you can work alone with these kind of things maybe teach basic english math science social these kind of subjects to kids like maybe first second third fourth fifth grade right like that high school kids whatever you can do try to plan something like that because there are lots of options for you to teach like this so go ahead and create a teacher account and start something today and i'm going to link all these resources in the description to check it out and let me know if this helped you so let me give you these ratings like how hard it is to start a two how hard it is to earn 10000 rupees a month three how hard it is to grow and maintain three If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and share it with as many people as possible because this could be useful for someone who is in need second one building applications you need not to be a developer for this all we are going to do here is management if you are good with management if you have good communication skills you can rock at this so this is actually what i recently tried and i'm still doing it at my starting at my early stages i earned mostly like profits with 2 lakhs and i also lost sadly 4 lakhs let me explain so there are lots of people out there who have wonderful ideas and brilliant thoughts but they are unaware how to create these softwares so here we step in and we help them to build their dream softwares this is typically what a service based company work like i was planning something similar but in a very small scale so i joined with one of my friends to do this project a point to remember here is i was completely working part time i was just spending 2 to 3 hours of my time every day for this that's all nothing more nothing less so for this first what you want is a client so getting a client is the toughest part in this job so we quickly registered in many platforms like fever upwork freelance and many more right we registered in all of them and slowly within a week we got few offers and in that we took one offer from upwork so it was quoted around 4 lakhs rupees and we accepted it for that project mostly 40% of the project is dependent on the software development and the 60% of it is from iot side so we agreed upon to deal with software development so then we need a team because we are not going to develop right we need a team for this because i don't want to develop i want to learn management skills so that's the first thing why we started this so then we hired a team which is a wonderful team so for that again we went back to the same platforms like fever upwork freelancer teacher on and we built a wonderful team of five people and then quickly we started with development and we did at least like 90% to 95% of the project completed was completed in one and a half month and then we heard a very bad news saying that most of the raw material that we need to develop these iot material right actually this iot contract is taken by some other team but yeah 
they were stuck because of the raw material and then we waited for 2 months and then the project got scrapped and unfortunately we missed 4 lakh rupees even though we worked hard but yeah mistakes happen and we learn from our mistakes and that when we understood that documentation is very important but still we were in a problem that we have to pay the developers right who worked freelancing for us so we have to still pay them and i have to pay around 60000 rupees for that so we somehow managed to uh, talk to the company and get at least that amount so that we can pay them and we did that so fortunately at least that happened so i was happy so one study is done we did like three major projects out of which two are mobile applications and one is a website and we made profit like apart from paying all these uh, freelancers and stuff we made profit individually 2 lakhs which is really good see all i did or all me and my friend did was to manage things that's it we used to talk to clients we used to get the requirements we we used to understand them nicely and we used to tell that to our developers that's all we did so that's how we learned project management in detail so guys if you are a person you have a lot of free time and you want to see something ahead in your future learn these kind of skills guys so you can learn by earning money parallelly so try to start a small thing like this try to get clients and make projects like this so this can be a very good advantage for your career and also it could be a very good challenge for you every single day to take something like this so if you have some time and you can use the time to invest good in these kind of ventures so let me rate them how hard it is to start i give 4 because it's really tough to get a client and even if you get a client it's really tough to get a good client how hard it is to uh, earn 10000 it's very easy because once you have a project in your hand you can easily earn 10000 how hard it is to maintain and manage i give 5 stars guys it's really tough it will be like too pressurized and at least when you are working as a part time guy just like me so i used to spend only 2 to 3 hours at most 4 hours so it was very f- tough for me to manage that so yes that was my experience with um, building applications as a service third one content writing content writing was my first part time job i started this when i just joined engineering I didn't earn much with this like 7k to 8k is what I earned but it taught me a lot I mean in the process of uh, doing this I've learned a lot first of all um for me content writing was very tough because I need to learn a lot because that's not a piece of cake you have to learn vocabulary you have to improve the quality of writing you need a lot of parameters that to check right so it was very tough for me to get started with content writing but somehow i've learned it so you also can learn don't worry about that the process is what all it takes if you are in the process you will learn it so yeah so how i started with it so before going into how part let me tell you uh, like how you can earn money in content writing in content writing typically money is paid with respect to words i mean the number of words you write that much of money you get let me tell you the general rates in india currently so if you write one word you will get 1 rupee to 3 rupees if you are a beginner 3 rupees to 5 rupees if you are an expert for example if you write an article of 1000 words you get 1000 to 5000 with respect to your level so that's how you make money with content writing but when i just get started i used to get paid 300 or 400 for 1000 words so the prices were that less at that time but now it's a bit fine so there are two ways in which you can start content writing the first way is you keeping yourself your talent your content out there in social media maybe in facebook instagram and linkedin so i used to do that and it worked like wonder for me i used to write a lot of tech articles and keep it in my linkedin not in my early stages of college but at my final year and when i was doing internship i used to do this a lot of people used to dm me and ask me personally to write this tech content for them and yes i wrote a lot of them and i made considerable amount of money when i was just in my last year of my college or something like that and the method that i used in the first year is like i used to go to facebook and i used to search for freelancing content writing groups there are like tons and tons of groups where content owners who need content used to come there and keep their request saying that they need content for this and they're looking for content writers 
we content writers used to go to the same platform and say we are open to work for this this time and this much money and things like that so clients used to contact us or we used to contact them it used to work like that and now these kind of groups increased like a lot so you have plenty of opportunities where you can search and get these kind of offers so yes that's with respect to content writing so how hard it is to start a give a three because you have to learn vocabulary you have to learn strong writing skills and how hard it is to earn thousand rupees a month three how hard it is to maintain and grow four so if if you have a plan to work solo on a content writer it's okay if you have a, a plan to make it as a business it's a very good plan guys i have known tons and tons of people who have this as a startup because what they do right uh, potentially they kind of find few people in and around them who have some good command in language and they tutor them and they prepare them as a good content writers so once that process is done they gather all these kind of content writers and let them work on mass projects and these guys get projects from various sources and let them work so they take uh, almost 30 to 40% of share uh, from the clients and give the rest 60 to 70% to these kind of content writers so you also can organize these kind of small companies and make use of this content writing field as a very good opportunity i literally know people who make lakhs with these kind of things so guys there is a lot of space in this if you want to explore it could be a very good thing fourth one is building websites with wordpress in my case when i was just starting with content writing i used to write content for these websites and all right so it caught my attention in fact I bought my first iPhone with the money that I earned from this website building using WordPress. So as I told you it caught my interest I slowly started learning it and I quickly understood what are the different concepts that we have to know and what are the different things. Just to clear it up to create a website you need not even write a single line of code. There are wonderful tools out there less like WordPress to make these kind of websites. you have a lot of free templates you have different plugins that you can use to make any kind of site you can also make a e-commerce site just like amazon or flipkart and also integrate payment gateway and everything which is very simple even a 7th class kid can do this trust me guys so yeah first you have to get a client so yes i got a client the my first client was my senior so actually they had a small business and they want a promotional website to promote their business so i took that project i followed a youtube video right in that video i've learned completely from scratch like taking a domain getting a hosting right hosting your site building your site and everything and that took me one day even i added the payment gateway to it now anyone can pay money through that online site so that took me one day and after that i took three more days to fill up the site entirely with the content i write i almost worked like 10 hours in this four days and they paid me 9k for the work that i have done for that it gave me a huge rush i was very happy to get that 9000 because earlier for that uh, i was writing content writing and i worked so hard like for at least two three months i worked so hard to get that 9k and here in four days i got that money you can understand that right it's huge for me then i slowly started registering myself as a wordpress developer in many platforms mostly i used to use fever so people used to come and ask me and i used to do these websites not much than 2 3 months later i got enough money to buy my iphone and i got my first iphone i was very happy i was cloud nine that time then i made a website for my own it's called quiver.in and now don't search for that now it's closed <laughs> So yes that's how i made money with wordpress so let me now guide you guys how to do that how you can do that right this can be done by anyone literally anyone if you are a housewife you don't have much of programming knowledge still you can do that you are a student who are studying 10th you can do that there are lots of lots of youtube videos which explains you in detail and very nicely I am going to link few of those good videos in the description do check it out no worries so yes they will guide you from taking domain hosting how to install wordpress how to install various plugins themes everything can be done within no time and you will be amazed to see that okay i can do a site <laughs> yes so how hard it is to start 
टू हाउ हार्ड इट इज टू अर्न टेन थाउजेंड इट्स टू हाउ हार्ड इट इज टू मेंटेन एंड ग्रो इट्स फोर बिकॉज इट टेक्स लॉट ऑफ टाइम वंस यू इंक्रीज योर क्वालिटी ऑफ डेवलपमेंट इफ यू आर गोइंग विद सिंपल टेम्पलेट्स इट्स ओके बट बाई टाइम यू हैव टू इम्प्रूव द क्वालिटी सो इट नीड्स बिट ऑफ लर्निंग एंड इफ यू आर गाय हु ऑलरेडी हैव अ बिजनेस और यू आर सेलिंग समथिंग ऑफलाइन सम एक्स एंड वाई प्रोडक्ट्स नाव यू कैन ऑल्सो कंसिडर बिल्डिंग अ वेबसाइट बाई योर ओन एडिंग योर प्रोडक्ट्स इन टू दैट वेबसाइट एंड प्रोमोट एंड इंक्रीज योर सेल्स मे बी यू हैव टू इन्वेस्ट सम टाइम इट स्टार्ट बट इट विल गिव यू वंडरफुल रिजल्ट सो कंसिडर लर्निंग दिस काइंड ऑफ स्किल्स गाइज दे आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दे आर वेरी यूजफुल टू अर्न योर बेसिक अमाउंट सो यस दैट्स विथ वेबसाइट बिल्डिंग विथ वर्ड प्रेस फिफ्थ वन प्रोग्रामिंग If you are a good techy and you have good knowledge on all the buzzing technologies this could be a perfect fit for you along with your actual work you can also earn some money by doing some freelance stuff if you can relate in my second idea i was explaining you guys how we hired few freelancers to get the work done right so you can be that kind of freelancer so coming to myself i worked as a freelance developer um actively into the 19 and till mid 2020 and even now occasionally i take one or two jobs just to get out of my regular work that i do in my office just to just for a small change like that can also earn some work parallelly so what is this so how you can do this there are many sites out there like freelancer upwork fever like so you can go ahead and register yourself as a freelance developer and wait for people to approach you or you can directly approach people who are posting their projects i usually do this to keep myself updated with the stuff that i learn personally i love python and django so to keep myself updated i now and then take one or two uh, of these jobs and try to like recollect all the concepts and stuff in that way you can always be updated and there is another way for you guys like who want to be a freelance developer there are so many people working outside our country maybe us uk australia right who are not very sound in software development so if they are just getting started from some other technology to a new technology they are new to it so they will struggle a lot at that particular phase so you can go ahead and give a job support for them you can help them in their work and also parallelly teach them how to do their work independently so within few months they can do their own job so that's how you can support them and you can take money with it so usually job support works with monthly pay so i have personally many of my friends who are currently working for this job support apart from they work early mornings or late nights they work with their clients like for one or two hours a day right occasionally and they take leaves on weekends and so right with this setup monthly they will be charged um, nearly from 40k to 60k which is a very good side amount so you guys also can try to do a job support don't try to do job support in india because you are not going to get any penny so if you want to do job support you try to see people or find out clients from maybe australia uk and usa these kind of places right so i read this like how hard it is to start is for because you should have a great knowledge with programming how hard it is to earn 10000 rupees a month very easy two how hard it is to grow and maintain it's three sixth one personal tutoring teaching something that you are good at i mean i'm talking about skills like singing dancing music right there are separate sections for teacher on for these kind of requirements and there will be a lot of requests from from indians who are in us for teaching their kids music or dance or singing whatever it might be you guys can use that opportunity to be as a good personal trainer maybe you are into fitness and you know a lot about fitness so you can prepare a package saying that best workouts that one can do based on their body shape and body weight diet stretches right zumba meditation yoga what not you can like make them do all those things and reduce their weight so that's the main agenda so if you if you are good at something if you are if you have some good skills at something use that to monetize and earn some money through it one of my friend is actually a great zumba dancer i mean she learned it for passion but now she is earning with it how if you ask she takes two batches one in the morning and one in the evening right each batch there are n number of people who have to pay 500 rupees a month to participate in the zumba classes and she is currently making between 35 to 45000 a month so you guys also can start something like that 
and i also have a junior now she is conducting classes to kg kids both for entertainment and education and that was a very innovative idea and she is rocking with it she promotes herself using instagram facebook and youtube and get more and more clients all she does is conduct sessions and have some fun activities kids and she teaches a lot to them and also entertain them in multiple ways like she enjoys doing it so that is what i'm talking about if you are good at something try to use that and monetize in your own way whatever it might be art music right try to check out these categories in teacher one they are available how hard it is to start three because you should have a skill how hard is to earn 10000 rupees i give two because if you have skill and if you have clients you can easily make money how hard it is to grow and maintain i say four because it's a bit tough to grow seventh one designing designing is something it's like very special guys this can make you earn so much if you are talented and you can stand out if you have some creative skill you can easily earn in this field see you can see this image right i got this made from an artist that's me actually yeah i got it made from an artist and i paid 300 rupees for that 3 months back and now the same designer he is charging 500 rupees for such kind of similar arts because of the increase in his uh, followers maybe his exposure increased and also the quality of his work might also increase right the same designer maybe after a year might charge 1000 rupees for something similar because then he might be having different number of followers and his level of skill might increase so you can monetize these kind of skills guys one of my friends she is very good at sketching and she used to sketch a lot and post it online like facebook and instagram and many people used to follow and praise her slowly what happened people started asking her to make personalized greeting cards and now she sells those greeting cards like for a huge amount nowadays she is selling the greeting cards for like 3000 to 4000 each in a week at least she sells 2 to 3 and she gets bulk orders for different occasions she is doing it wonderfully because she did market her skills in instagram and facebook and developed it slowly and that's not her full time job she works in a very reputed company as a ui designer this is her part time job and i have so many of my friends who are also work in this designing field like logo designers custom t-shirt designers right website designers there are both kind of people who works for technical and also completely to art right people who are working with technical can go with fever and these kind of platforms and people who are working with art can use and market their like art forms in instagram and facebook and if you are creative sky is your limit so got to do it how hard it is to start i am giving a 4 how hard it is to make 10000 rupees i am giving it a 3 how hard it is to grow and maintain i am giving it 2 because once you build the community the community will lift you eighth one promotions guys i am warning you ahead this is my idea this can be like so much dumb so i'm warning you before so now yes let's understand what my idea is so earlier when we think of advertisements or promotions we used to get a lot in tvs and then slowly the trend changed to online now social media is all with promotions and advertisements starting from youtube instagram tiktok facebook a lot more things like this so now in the same way now the promotions and branding and, and advertising is moving to influencer market why because let's say there is an influencer who is good with fitness all his community and all his followers will be mostly related to fitness because they are following a fitness influencer so if a fitness influencer give or market on a fitness product it's more likely that all his community will be interested in that so that's how targeted the promotions are currently nowadays so our solution and the problem is lying around this influencer market before going into the solution let me tell you guys what is the problem actually is let's say there is a small upcoming brand right this guy he is manufacturing two products mainly like beauty and uh, fitness products so with respect to beauty also he has different products for both men and women and fitness also he has both different products for both men and women now he wants to advertise in north india all his products with the help of influencer market so how he can do it the only one way he has for now is 
going and searching all the influencers who are popular in north india right then segregate different different categories and buckets like that like saying this guy is good with men's influencer with beauty this guy in fitness this girl in beauty this girl in fitness like that he has to segregate all these guys all these people into different buckets and once he is completed with his analysis he should also segregate with respect to different platforms saying tiktok facebook instagram youtube right once that analysis is also done he now should start contacting each influencer one by one and asking that if they are willing to promote his product and based on their network and community strength he should be analyzing how much he has to pay them and how much they are worth it so something like this so all this might take few months because it's pan india like complete north india he has to do this so it's really tough for him and he will be obviously willing to pay if someone can help him in this situation so that is a problem statement and you might have already understood what's the solution is so we should be coming up with a network network of info which can solve this problem for example if you take a particular place delhi so topping out all the cream influencers let's say we have 3000 to 4000 amazing influencers in delhi and out of which there are different people from different platforms tiktok facebook instagram and youtube then we should segregate further according to their community strength and network strength or their followers so based on this we should create a network and then further divide it into different different fields saying that this guy is specialized in beauty fitness he is good in travel he is good in tech things like that so once you have all the segregations at least for one place you have a good dominance in that place now so likewise you have to go state by state place by place and cover the entire part so that you get the dominance in this kind of field so once you do this you have a lot of potential in your hand but doing this is so tough so that's the reason why we need a lot of people a bigger team and also a lot of time and planning to do this so once you have this network you can personally go and talk to each of the influencers and give them some deals saying that you are planning something like this and if he is willing to patch you with some brands you are going to give him some more commission or something like that so then you can start expanding your clients also like that to be frank this has a lot of space guys so if you start something like this right if you have a bigger team or if you have a group of friends who can work together to something like this you can make a lot of money so i just wanted to share you guys the idea that i have and i have done it so i'm i'm not sure how you're taking it yeah but roughly that's what i have in my mind till now so why i'm saying this right if you have such interesting ideas do post it in the comments so that we all can brainstorm and come up with something really good so yes so do let me know what do you think about this idea in the comments and let's talk further so what do you think about this video do you think all these eight ideas are a good ways to start with part time jobs or do you have uh, any more better ideas about it so if you do so do let us know in the comments so that the community can be benefited with it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and share it with as many people as possible because this could be useful for someone who is in need so do subscribe to this channel for interesting content and also do follow me on my instagram this is the instagram handle do check out my profile and thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next one see ya